an incredible moment I mean leading up to that landing I was so nervous and so excited you know you know that the last few minutes of landing on Mars are the most terrifying and and like you said it's you know years and years of of work just for that those last few minutes so um, so the moment that I heard those words touchdown confirm it was just such an incredible moment of, of relief but also of happiness and excitement for all the things that are to come. So the helicopter is a technology demonstration mission. So what we're trying to do here, it's sort of separate from the science that Perseverance is doing. What we're trying to do is demonstrate powered flight on another planet. Um, so um, it's going to be really complex, right? Right now, the helicopter is attached to the belly of the rover. It's vertical, it's, sorry, it's horizontal. So we have to deploy it, put it vertical, and then drop it on the surface of Mars we have to, you know, it'll drop under us, under the rover. So we have to drive away from it without touching it um, so, that the, so that the solar panels can get light. And then, um, and then after that, we have to fly on Mars, right? And, and so we have to understand, okay, what's the weather on Mars? What, what time of day do we want to fly? And then we have to control this thing and, and, you know, and everything is automated. So all the flights have to be pre-planned. Um, we want to make sure that we're also in the correct orientation to get nice images of it. So it's just a lot of coordination and a lot of complexity. And of course, we don't know what Mars is going to throw at us, right? So, um, so we have to be ready also for things to not look like what we expect them to and then to react to that. You know, I grew up in a town that was predominantly white. There wasn't really anyone that looked like me. And so there wasn't representation in terms of seeing people that look like me in positions of authority, but also there was racism. There's people that don't understand that it's not because your skin color is different or your accent is different or your food is different that you're, you know, that you're a good or a bad person that has nothing to do with it, right? But when you're a kid and, and, and you look different and you bring some food that looks different to work, to school, right? Like the kids just make fun of you or they bully you for, for reasons that like, you know, it's, it's silly. It's a lack of education, right? Um, but so it's definitely something that I grew up with. I grew up being bullied um, for who I was. And that was really difficult, especially as a teenager, because you just want to be like everyone else, right? You don't want to be different when you're a teenager. But eventually I was able to, to turn that, something that I thought was a weakness into a strength, right? Because now there, there is no one that looks like me and people remember me when I walk in a you room because, different. you know, I have red hair and I look like this. <laughs> there's, this there's a moon of Saturn that I think is really incredible called Enceladus. And I don't think I want to go there myself because it's so far away, <laughs> um, but I would love to send a robot out there um, to look at the water under under the in the ocean of the moon Enceladus because I think it's incredible um, that you know there could be life on that ocean. It's a huge ocean. It has more water than Earth, um, and it has geysers at the south of the moon that's like sending water out into the into space. And so it's just it's just such a cool planet. You know, it's a moon. It's such a cool moon, and I really hope that uh, that I get to go explore it one day. I think I would say, don't let anyone tell you no. I think, you know, when I was young, there were so many people, you know, we, we don't encourage girls to, to be engineers or to be to be scientists or to be whatever they want to be, right? And, and I had so many people along the way that told me I wouldn't make it or that I didn't belong. If you have a dream, whatever that dream is, go pursue it to, you know, take your hardest shot at it. And you know what? You are gonna fail along the way. I didn't get here just like, like that one day, right? There were so many people that told me, no, I failed exams. I failed so, so many times. There were so many times that I thought, why am I even doing this? 
But I tried again and again and again. It just takes one yes, one success to achieve that dream, right? So, so allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to, to, to think, to believe that you can make it wherever you want to and work at it. Um, and, you know, and, and don't give up when things don't look good or when things are difficult because you belong wherever you want to be.